In one of my earlier keyboard hacks, I made a funky little LED light up keyboard. Well, now it's time to go in a little bit of a different direction with another keyboard. This is a little bit more modern keyboard, but not by much. And it's for one of my backup computers, so let's dig in. Flip it over and start taking out the screws. There's going to be quite a few. In my case, there was close to a dozen. Now hang on to them because we're going to need them. Once you've got the keyboard apart, separate them and let's get close to the keyboard side. Now this one also had a little metal shield that had a few screws that had to come out so I could get to the keys. You'll find a flexible plastic piece which is the circuit board for the keyboard. We'll pull that aside. Then we'll peel back the little rubber button sheet that comes in contact with the keys, exposing just the numeric keypad. Now most of the buttons other than the numeric lock are everywhere else on the keyboard, so we can afford to do this for the project. Now make sure all the keys are pushed down or up if you are looking at the keyboard from the top. Then we're going to use some hot glue and glue all those keys in place. Now we have to flip back the little portion of the rubber button sheet because we need to cut that off. So use a pair of scissors and cut off the numeric keypad rubber button sheet. Now you're going to need a small saw, or in my case, I'm using my Dremel. And we'll slowly start cutting around the numeric keypad. Go slow and steady, and once you're done, you'll end up with the keypad all in one piece. Peel off the excess burnt plastic pieces on both the keyboard end and also on the keypad, just to neaten it up. Then I used a sanding Dremel attachment just to smooth out the corners of the keypad. Now we're going to need a base inside the keyboard, so I'm using a piece of cardstock that will fit over the hole we just cut out in the keyboard base. I'll securely tape that in place so it doesn't go anywhere. Then using a razor blade, I cut two small squares for the little notches that the keypad will fit in. Then we can lay the circuit board sheet back down, secure that additional shield, and start putting the keyboard back together. Put in all the screws except for the screw that's in the back of the numeric keypad. Then I cut out another piece of cardstock to go over our keypad, and also cut out the two notches that correspond with the notches in the keyboard base, and I hot glued it in place. Now it's time to collect your valuables, like some cash. That world famous recipe that you couldn't live without, and maybe even your YouTube password. Once everything's in place, cover it with our secret numeric keypad. And for an extra measure of security, you can use that last screw to screw the keypad in place. Chances are nobody is going to steal your keyboard these days, and they'll be hard pressed to find your little stash place. Well, that's how to make a sneaky keyboard hack. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.